Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Ainsley and I am coming to you, well, from my house right now, but normally I work at the Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth. So I'm part of the team that brings you the Thrival Kits Project, along with our friends at the Canadian Mental Health Association, the Manitoba Winnipeg Office. So some of you might know about the Thrival Kits Project. You might know what I mean when I say that. Here's the guide that you might've seen your teacher using. And maybe that's why you're watching this video today because your teacher has sent you this video to watch so we can do some uh, goal setting and uh, imagining the future together. The other thing that we're gonna do today actually is plant some seeds. So if you're here because you're part of the Thrival Kids Project in your classroom, welcome! And if you're here because you happen to stumble on the video or you're bored and you're scrolling through YouTube and you didn't know what you wanted to do and you found me, welcome! We love it. I'm so glad you're here today. So what we're gonna be doing today is talking about goal setting and talking about why it's connected to planting seeds. So your teacher may have talked to you a little bit about, um, about the Thrival Kids project, about what it is that we do in the, in the project. So if you're not familiar with Thrival Kids, um, Thrival Kids is a project that was created by the Canadian Mental Health Association and the uh, Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth. And we promote mental health and wellness for students in grades four to six. And there's a lot of kids uh, in the province of Manitoba who are participating in the project right now. And um, so if you're one of those, that's great. And if you're not, that's great too. What we're gonna be doing today is talking about goal setting. So goals are really important um, so that we know where we're headed for the future. So sometimes goals can be little. They can be things like, I wanna finish the book I'm reading. Or they can be, I want to make sure that I drink enough water today. But they can also be bigger goals too. So for today's activity, we're going to try to keep it somewhat short. Um, but I'm going to go through a few different things. And what you need for today is a paper, a pen. I'm going to use either an egg carton or... Da -da 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 -da. Toilet paper rolls. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to use, but I'll explain in a second. You also need a little bit of soil and oh, where's my water? Here's my water. And today I am, I looked at a whole bunch of different kinds of seeds and I decided that today with you, I'm going to plant bean seeds. I love these bean seeds because look at this. They grow super, super tall. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be showing browns. I don't know. <laughs> Free publicity for those guys. So these ones grow really, really tall and I love them. They grow quickly. Um, they stretch really tall. I'm really tall. I'm about six feet tall and they go much higher than me. So we're going to plant some bean seeds. Um, the other thing, if you're part of the Thrival Kits project, you probably have your Thrival journal in your kit or maybe you have a different journal that you use. And if you're not part of the Thrival Kits project yet, um, if you're journaling, that's awesome. You're gonna to wanna to get your journal after this as well, because we're gonna, um, I'm gonna encourage you to, to write about um, your goals and the things that you maybe saw today in the video. So, what's a goal? Goals are really important because it helps us, like I said before, to set our direction about where we're going. Now, there's a lot of different goals that I have in my life, but I thought that for today, um, because I'm coming to you live from my home, I would do something, I would set a goal or talk to you about a goal that I have that kind of relates to one of my favorite people in the world who happens to be inside that house right now, and her name is Alora. And she and I have a goal together that we want to one day visit Paris together. So what I did is I took my piece of paper and you can see I ripped it out already because I wrote on there, Paris with, oh, I don't know if you can see that, Paris with Elora. Well, maybe that's backwards when you actually see it. Oh, well, if it's not, trust me, that's what it says. So what, I, what I'm going to do with my goal, because this is something that I've wanted to do with her for a really long time. We've talked about it. We have pictures of the Eiffel Tower inside the house. We've got little statues of the Eiffel Tower. 
Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons why we want to go to Paris. We want to stroll the streets of Paris and eat baguettes and um, I want to sip strong coffee. She has no interest in coffee. You might not either. That's okay. Um, but that's my goal. So what's your goal? I want you to take a piece of paper and write down a little goal. If you need to pause this video while you think about it, that's okay too. And then come on back. So what we're going to do now, I think I am going to use these toilet paper tubes because we're planting bean seeds. And sometimes when you plant little seeds, they don't really like to get disturbed because they're not going to grow forever in here. Eventually I'm going to plant them outside of my garden. But right now in Manitoba, it's too cold to plant some stuff. Beans could probably go up pretty soon. But I'm going to show you at the end of this video some of the other things that I'm um, growing right now in this sunny little porch you can only see a little sliver of. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my bean seeds in the toilet paper tube. So all you got to do is you take your soil. I'm going to prop that up here. I'll see if I can do that without dumping it over. I don't know if I can. And so because it has, because it's all the way through, what I always do is I put my hand underneath there to catch the soil and I just put the soil in and I put a little bit in. You don't want to do it all the way to the top, but you put it in and then I'm going to take my little goal because I am going to plant my goal because as I tend these seeds over the course of the rest of the spring and into the summer, when I put them into my garden, what I'm going to think about is that goal. And every time we think about our goals, every time we set our goals and then really set our intentions around them and really think about them, it gives us an opportunity to um, make sure that the goals that we're setting are, are right. It lets us um, change and develop the goal over time. So we make sure that we um, you know, are continuing to focusing, focusing towards it. And look, so you can see it's all the way up, to, it's almost all the way up to the top. I don't want to right to the top because you need to leave some room for, um, for the water to go in there too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. Let's see if I can do it without dropping all the soil. Put that down over here. I have a little planting tree I'll show you in just a second. So look at this down here. So here's my little planting tree. Oh, I'll move it over a little bit. Here's my little planting tree. And look, now I'm going to take my bean seeds. Look at these guys. There's my bean seeds. And I'm going to take just one of them for each one of these. And I'm going to plant it. I'm going to press it gently down into there. Now, one of the things that seeds really need in order to grow is not just soil but they also need water. And so I'm going to pour a little bit of water in there. And you'll see that it's gonna to start to soak the tube and that's okay, it's totally okay, because um, these are only gonna be in here for a couple of weeks and I'm going to water them every couple of days and just keep a really good eye on them to make sure but in a couple of uh, days, what I'm going to see, sorry, you're not going to be around for it, but what I'm going to see is a tiny little sprout coming up to the top of the soil. And every time I water this, I'll think about eventually one day getting to Paris with my daughter. So one thing I wanted to show you is, one thing I wanted to show you is some of the plants that I planted a few weeks ago. It's really that simple. That's all we did. I just put this tube, a little bit of soil, put your seed in, put your little seed in. And seeds look really different depending on what kind of seeds you might have. Um, and then pack it in a little bit, put some water in it, and then put it somewhere sunny. Because most plants, well the plants that I like to grow in my garden, most of those like to have a lot of sun. So a number of weeks ago, I planted tomato seeds. So do you know when you eat a tomato and you get those little seeds? So all of the seeds started super, super small. But look now, I'm going to show you. All of these are now 
these huge tomatoes that are gonna be going into my garden in a couple of weeks. So tomatoes are kind of sensitive little creatures when they are young, just like humans. And I'm gonna try to not knock over this camera here. So my tomatoes, while they used to be really, really tiny, like they were like super small. And now they're this one. This one is called, this is actually one of my favorite ones. Um, it's called a purple bumblebee tomato. And it's gonna give me tiny little purple, um, purple tomatoes that are nice and sweet um, to just eat right off the plant. And so you can see I have a lot of tomatoes that are getting ready for my garden. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So if you happen to have all of those materials at your house or you have a way to get them, I really encourage you to plant a couple of, uh, of plants to put out in your yard this, this uh, summer. And you know what? If you don't have access to any of those materials, I hope you enjoyed watching me plant a, plant a seed. And what I'd like you to do is to get out your journal, whether it's your Thrival Kits journal or whether it's just another journal that you that you use um, to uh, write down how you think about things, what you feel about things, what's going on in your life. I want you to um, to take out your journal and do some writing about what kind of goals you have. Why is it important to set goals? What can a goal do for us? How have your goals changed over the years? Maybe you had goals and ideas and dreams when you were younger that have changed now. They'll probably change more as you get older. So with that, what I just want to encourage everyone to do, if you have any questions or feedback uh, for the Thrival Kids team, please feel free to reach out to us. We love getting letters and uh, emails um, and getting tagged on social media. So if you have an email that you wanna send us, send it to info at thrivalkits.ca. If you have planted something or if you're doing some um, artwork, maybe you wanna draw a picture of your goal or your dream. If you wanna do that and you wanna tag us on social media, you can tag us using the hashtag thrivalkits. And that's all for now from my sunny porch today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next week. Keep thriving.